But again, my name's Ashley. Um, I started five years ago, using and Living, um, a little bit over five years ago now. And it sent us just on a journey, just figuring out and discovering how to truly be great stewards of our health and how to be gatekeepers of our home where we have just been really diligent about ditching the toxins one by one and coming to a place where I can say for sure we're not absolutely toxin free but we know the areas that we've gotten that to that place and we worked on them one by one and just came to a place where we're not dependent on a lot of modern medicine not that it's bad but that's not something that we have to to utilize a lot and then we also don't have to do things like run to big box stores um, for our personal care products or our supplements or anything else like that because we're really having what we need from the plants that are part of essential oils. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to kind of say that uh, because I think it's important to kind of know who you're talking to and especially watching the recording, like who's that random person and how did they get started and why? So for us, it was a lot of back discomfort. Um, kids, I had little kids, they're still pretty little. Um, they were little and just having lots of skin irritation. And then for me, I really wanted to clean with things that smelled good, that were effective and actually killed germs, but were still not toxic. And so I was just in a weird place. I don't cloth diaper anymore. Thank you. Thank the Lord, but <laughs> I did cloth diaper my kids, and I was like, hey, "Wow, tree and lavender." Yeah, but now it's a little bit funny because I feel like now if someone introduced me to that, just the place I am in my life, if I had another baby, I would be like, "That's cute." But <laughs> it's just different because for us, it saved a lot of money, and for us, it was also yeah. just an environmentally friendly idea um, that we adopted and grew with. And now it's funny because there's a couple natural diaper companies that I probably would be like, "Well." I'm going to pay the $1 million so that I don't have to spray poop off my driveway. But that's not about me. You can remember me as the poop lady. So um, essential oils are volatile compounds that come from plants, and they really have a job in plants that's very, very simple, but it's something that we forget about because we don't talk in this simple way about them a lot. They actually heal, restore, and protect the plant. Heal, restore, and protect. So our bodies were designed to be really someone, someone, I should say that, a being that is very, very much in harmony with nature. So when God designed plants, that's what I believe. Everyone has their own set of beliefs, but I believe he designed them very intentionally for us to use to live, for us to get oxygen from them when we breathe in, for them to absorb and use carbon dioxide from when we breathe out, for us to ingest them and have healthy bodies, and for us to literally use essential oils to heal, restore, and protect our bodies. So it's something for me that's very simple. Um, it wasn't easy for me to understand that because I'm like, how did I not know about this for 30 years, right? But it's something that it's very simple to understand once I'm like, oh, they were made for us to use. We just happen to bottle them up in pretty packaging and have a lot of scientific testing done on them. But they're literally just plants that have been cooked down through distillation process we use steam distillation. It only touches stainless steel and glass. Really important to note. And then we actually go through and triple test each batch before we use it on our bodies. So it's a little bit out of order of kind of what I wanted to say about how they're, you know, what they are. But it's important to understand that they're made in a way that's going to produce, um, produce the yield for the plant that's desirable, of course. But it's going to really make sure we're protecting those volatile compounds. So essential oils are living. They're moving, they're vibrant. Um, a great way to think about that is like if you open a bottle of essential oil and you sit it maybe in a hot car, or even if I just have it in my office right here, I can just sit it down, they evaporate. They evaporate because they're living, moving. They are, they are just, think about water, right? Water evaporates. You want it to, okay? BPA products, plastic, it doesn't actually evaporate. If it's, it becomes moldable or melts, it's a problem because it's like off-gassing. So totally a different thing than what essential oils do. So I'm also just might as well throw some on me while I'm here. So in a plant, a great way to look at it too, and I don't know what you guys see when you look out your window. You probably see darkness because it's night there right now. But when I look at my window, I see a lot of trees in my house. I see freshly cut grass um, uh, that I do not cut. Thank you, my husband. <laughs> Thank you, I know. I mean, I would cut it, but you know, it's like not preferred. And so when I look out my window, um, I think about how when we cut the grass. We're not actually trying to kill the grass. We're not trying to get rid of the grass. We are actually just cutting it down and it grows back healthier. So the interesting point about that is that heal, restore, protect. Um, essential oils are what goes to the grass blade and actually make sure that it is going to continue growing, that it's bringing healing and restoration to the top where it was just cut off. 
So our bodies don't do the same thing. We don't regenerate, right? If you, if you have your arm cut off, in most cases, it's not regrowing itself. But the essential oil is going to come in and it's going to knit together those antibodies and those blood cells. And it's going to literally promote the same action that it does in the plant. So it's a really interesting way to think about how plant cells are different. They don't have emotional capacity. So plants don't feel pain. I've had people like tell me before they do, and I'm like, they feel frequency and energy, but they don't actually feel pain because they don't have receptors to feel that. So it sounds simple, but I want you to think about it. You can affect something that doesn't have feelings by the way that you talk to it, interact with it. That's science that we all know is true, especially about living, any living thing, plants included, but they're not going to actually like they're not crying when a limb falls off a tree. I know she's like, this girl's nuts. But no, I just want you to think about the interesting dynamic that we, um, that we get to interact with in creation with plants. So the next thing about them that's really important to note is that they are very, very tiny and their molecular structure, one drop of essential oil, literally has 40 million trillion molecules in it. One drop, 40 million trillion molecules. That means one drop of essential oil has more molecules in it than, more, than cells in your entire body. So one drop can affect your entire body. And that happens in a matter of 20 seconds. A drop of oil ingested, put on you, inhaled, it's gonna go to every cell in your body in 20 minutes. And on, in 26 seconds, it's gonna go into your skin. So what happens after that is that they actually can travel really quickly all throughout your body and they do something really cool that's called crossing the blood brain barrier. So blood brain barrier is like your, you know, your brain and your spinal cord and all your little nerves that go out everywhere. That is a barrier. And what I mean by that is that is something that is almost impenetrable by large molecules. So maybe you have some head discomfort and you take something internally and you want your head discomfort to go away. Well, it does, but the only reason is because the receptors got a signal that, that that pain is blocked. So nothing is being changed, but that's simply how what we're used to doing. So essential oils cross the blood-brain barrier. Like, that is mind-blowing and amazing to me. That's how last year and the year before and the year before, I did not have to use for seasonal change. And for me, you know, where, where I live, it's the spring where um, there's lots of yellow stuff in the air that I have to use lemon, lavender, peppermint together. And I was able to stop having to use them because my body composition changed because the oils literally crossed that barrier and they were able to change the way my body functions. The other part, sciencey part that I just feel some science today that maybe you want to understand is our cell membranes actually have little cell receptors on the outside and inside. It's a valve, really. And essential oils act as scrub brushes to scrub off the gook that gets trapped on our cell surface. And when those things become clogged, we don't have good communication. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I think about my marriage and how if my husband and I don't have great communication. It's like the world's ending. Everything's awful. We hate each other. And so I think about my body where if my cells can't communicate, everything's awful. Parts of my body probably hate other parts, and I'm probably not feeling too awesome. So you want to make sure you're using them to act as those scrub brushes. And the citrus oils, they're best at it. They work the fastest. But something that's encouraging is it does not matter which ones you use. It's compounds in the oil. They all do that in your body. So if you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, open up the box, smell your oils, dump some on you, have a good day. Like, they're going to benefit your body because your body is going harder then honestly, your body will tell you what it needs. Your brain, I mean, I'm a squirrel. Like I hear a dog barking in the background. I saw my husband pull away in the fan. The AC is kind of cold. Like my brain's crazy, but my body will tell me what it needs. All right, so there's, that's kind of what they are. And if you look at the history and the time and place in which um, essential oils originated, they are actually pre-biblical times. So we find evidence of essential oil use, usage in Egyptian hieroglyphs, on Babylonian tablets, and then like a thousand times literally throughout the Bible. So it's been neat because it's like this really cute revolution where people are like, natural health is great. But really, it's us just remembering that we've had this all along, that we're just re-teaching ourselves and training ourselves to, again, be those gatekeepers of our own home, to be the people who use great discernment and investigate companies, investigate ways of healing, 
and move forward with it. So again, definitely not new. People will be like, that's a new age thing. And I think it's so neat. So I'm like, no, bleach is a new age thing. No, actually, food dyes are actually a new age thing. You know, like just interesting to think about it that way. So also, if you don't want to be a crazy hippie, you don't have to be. You can have any level of wanting to do this. Like I want to replace candles. Awesome. I want to replace bath products. Great. I don't want my kids to get sick during the winter. Hallelujah. Or you can be like, hey, I want to get rid of everything. So we're all on a different place in this journey. And it is just that. It is a journey. Um, that got crazy. I know. You know, just depends on the day, right? Depends on the day. I bought hairspray a few weeks ago for a formal event. I might have died a little bit inside of myself, but I'm pretty sure aerosol hairspray is the only thing that holds it up to. Like, I, I mean, what am I going to do? You got to live by the rules, right? 80, 20, 80, 20. And Annalise totally judging me right now. She's like, that's disgusting. Ashley. Oh, no. It looks hair is amazing. No, but it looks really, you know what I mean? It was funny. I was like, this joker is not falling out. Like we'll spray all of it. It was worth it. Same thing with like anyone who follows habits like that with oils. Um, I know for me, we took out so many fragrances in our home that I was very sensitive to them. But the border is, I'm not going to visit someone and tell them they need to take out their nasty, I'm not going to be like, you have nasty Glade plugins. They cause cancer. You need to remove them from your home. Like, I, I'm not, that is not something that, like, that's why I said crazy hippie and I was kind of joking, but you're not going to become that kind of person just because you're making steps in your health. You're all on a journey. We have to meet people where they are. And I hope that I can do that for you. So a couple of things about Young Living, because essential oils, they're awesome. I'm sure at this point you're like, of course I need them. I need all the oils. I need all the cleanliness in my body. But what I want to make sure you understand is that Young Living is very different. We are a 25-year-old company. We're the most trusted, most well-respected essential oil company in the world. We are the world leader and now a billion-dollar company. We have over 2 million active members. We have 64 countries that we are open market in, and we're the only essential oil company in the world where we offer seed to seal guarantee. And that means all the way from the time we find the seed, the seed is planted in the ground, up until harvest time, distillation time, and when we triple test each batch of oil before we literally seal those bottles up just like this, we are guaranteeing the quality and purity of what is in that bottle. I love it, I stand by it so firmly. And for me, it's neat to understand that we're beyond the organic farming practice. We don't even use organic pesticides and herbicides. We just use our essential oils back on the crops to promote you know, pest control or to promote healthiness and longevity of that plant. The origin of our plants and our essential oils is where they would natively grow. Our frankincense grows in Oman. You know why? The Middle East is where you grow frankincense. They do not grow any other place in the world. That's where those trees grow. Our Idaho balsam fir, wait for it, this is funny. We could take off the word Idaho and we could pretend like they could grow anywhere and they're just a random fir tree, but they only grow in Idaho. Like, right, like that is where they are naturally from. They're overgrown Christmas trees. I mean, that's literally what they are. And they take about 15 years to grow in their native land before we can harvest them and get out that essential oil. So if you just think about that, um, that's why I love the question. People are like, okay, well, there's a girl down the street. She owns this cute little shop and they have essential oils and they distill them there. I love to say back, I'm like, that's awesome. Does peppermint grow well? Like, is that, have you seen the plants? Is that like where they naturally grow? Well, what about, tell me about lemon. Is it a tropical environment? Like totally tropical? Like it's over 80 degrees Fahrenheit every day? No, okay. Just, it, just, just think about it a little bit. Just because you have that mentality, which I'm raising my hand, I'm saying, I think it would be awesome. Where I live, there are actually no varieties of plant that Young Living would distill that are native to Virginia. Like we have tobacco that grows well here. We have some like collard greens that grow well. I'm pretty sure we have corn. Like we don't want those oils. And I'm just, I'm being real. It's just different than buying like my tomatoes and my cucumbers locally or growing them myself. So the next thing about that is that I want you to also know that we own and operate 11 of our own farms around the world and you can visit them. You can go and see, taste, touch, feel, be part of the process. And I've gotten to do that numerous times and it's been life-changing to be part of something that's literally changed our lives. So it's an open company. There's a lot of transparency there. And I really hope that if you're considering um, investigating this into oil companies, that you'll understand that Young Living 
is not only that seed to seal guarantee, but we do our best as a, as a company to not compare ourselves and to not try to bash anyone else. But just please make sure if you're looking at a bottle that maybe you have from a health food store, you flip it over and look for a few red flags. You want to make sure it doesn't have an expiration date. You want to make sure it doesn't say do not use on kids because that's crazy town. Kids need oils probably more than most of us. You don't want it to say things like ask your doctor for a recommended dosage because y'all realize most doctors are not going to know about things that they aren't prescribing. That wouldn't make sense. And then also biggest red flag is if it says do not or for external use only or do not use internally and there's no explanation or there's not another version of that oil. And what I mean by that is labeling wise, we have some labeling things that we do in South Africa when there's an on the ground um, office there. Y'all's labeling will be a little bit different because what we, what we like to do is we make one giant batch of oil and we label one internal usage and one diffusing and topical usage. It's the same oil. So when you get it in your home, if you would like to ingest it, go for it. If you would like to diffuse the one that says to ingest, go for it. It's, a, it's more of a labeling thing that you want to think about. And that's a great way to look at companies, right? And make sure that you're able to ingest their oils. So now I'm going to go ahead. I know not only I was kind of all over the place, I apologize for myself because you will be much more organized and ready to go for us. But she's going to tell us what's in the kit and how to use them. Cool. Hi. Um, yeah, so I have my kit here. Um, I don't know if you guys have all seen it, but it is so pretty in this box. It is amazing. And then like when you open it, it's like even prettier inside. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then there's more layers underneath. If you lift that, that up, I can do it. I can do it left hand. Okay. There's another layer underneath with more oils and more amazing stuff underneath. It's so cool. And it's, like it smells nice already that I've just opened this. But um, so one of the ones that you get in here is lavender. So um, lavender is pretty much every, for everything. It's a Swiss army knife of, um, of oils. Um, it can help for burns. Um, there's different species of lavender. This one is the actual true lavender. Sometimes you get the fake ones um, and it's lavender. And that's not what this is. This is actual um, lavender. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can use this for basically everything. It, obviously it's great for sleeping. It's great for, um, burns for your skin, everything. Um, what I've been doing at night because my watch has been telling me that I'm not getting enough deep sleep. Um, and I've been putting lavender directly on the bottom of my feet along with the cedar wood which is another oil that's in the kit and i've been doing that every night before i go to bed my deep sleep has tripled tripled yeah so that's pretty crazy but anyway so that's the lavender um and i didn't think i had an issue with sleeping until my watch told me it wasn't enough deep deep sleep um on the other hand there is peppermint Peppermint is the opposite. It um, gives you energy, it like wakes you up. Um, in fact, I've started in the evenings, I prep my stuff for the morning and I've started putting out a glass of water and I'll put um, a bit of lemon in there, uh, um, lemon oil. And sometimes I'll put peppermint in that water as well. Otherwise I will add the peppermint to um, my coffee. Like it'll drop to my coffee, it's really nice. Um, so yeah, that's great for like, if you just need to wake up or just to me, it just makes my nose feel clear. Um, it's really great. Um, the other one is lemon. As I said, I put that in my water as well. Um, this is cold press from the rind. Um, it's delicious in your water. It's apparently really good at taking off sticky stuff. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but it's crazy how this smells. When I first smelled this, I was like, wow, that's not what I've expected because I've got lemon oil from a different, from other companies. And it's like, okay, it's lemon. This, like, I can actually picture a lemon rind being peeled and the juice squirting out of the rind, like that citric acid coming out. Like, that's what this smells like. Um, it's amazing. It, it's totally different. And I had some people come over yesterday to smell all these oils and they're like, 
this, this smells like what it's supposed to smell like. Like I feel like the other ones that I have at home or that I've tried, they don't, that's not how it's supposed to, this is how it's supposed to smell. Um, so it's really cool. It, it really is though. Um, so then as I mentioned, um, there's cedar wood, which is the other one that I put under my feet when I go to bed. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. I've actually found that this has helped with um, Hannah's speech when she when her speech um, is a bit of an issue and she's struggling with it. I just put this behind her ears actually and it it, um, it helps with that. I, I don't know if it's coincidental. I'm still testing it, but it seems like that's working. Um, yeah, and this is also, I personally am not the hugest fan of the smell of this one on its own, but when I mix it with lavender, I really like it. Or even sometimes I'll mix it with um, lemon and peppermint in the mornings, um, and I really like it then. Um, let's see what is next. is Aroma Ease. The stuff is really cool. Um, so... This is really good for like car sickness or um, like people who are going through chemo treatments and stuff. Apparently, with the nausea, this can be helpful. Um, also, pregnant ladies, if there's any nausea there, that'll help. The other day, I ate grains, and I'm not supposed to eat grains because my body doesn't like grains. And I was literally going to jump up and run to go vomit. Like I felt so sick. Like I could like. I jumped up to go be sick and instead I smelt this and I was fine. Like it was, it was dramatic. It was within 10 seconds. I was like, oh, I'm good. And that was it for the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, this is great for any kind of nausea or whatever. And it smells nice and fresh. And so that's really good. Um, then there is thieves or what I call Christmas in a bottle. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Um, so this is like a mixture of a few different, um, a few different ones. It's uh, cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, rosemary, and lemon. And this is for all things immunity. Um, this is like germs go away. Uh, it, you know, any kind of issues you have with the germs or the kids going to school. Okay, uh, I know to man you don't have that issue with school, but um, you know if they're going to play area or whatever, um, this is great for just helping to ward off those nasties. Um, it was inspired by the, lin the legend of um, four 15th century thieves who were actually spice traders, um, and they um, they were discovered with an aromatic blend of botanicals and found them to be supportive of their immune systems. Um, so dead people that were dying of plague and they were fine. And the king told them, I'll be more lenient uh, on your sentence if you tell me why you're not dying. Dun, 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 into thieves. <laughs> I think it's brilliant. <laughs> But it also just smells good and it's amazing. And also the company has a bunch of other thieves products like cleaners, house cleaners and um, hand sanitizers. I got to use that the other day at the convention. It's amazing. It doesn't have that alcohol smell and it makes your hands so soft and it smells almost lemony as well. Um, so yeah, thieves is amazing. So like I said, they've got a whole line of thieves products. Um, yeah, like cleaners and, and actually if you, um, get the starter kit until the end of the month, then you get a, a like a big thing of uh, like a 14 ounce um, container of the Thieves um, house cleaner, which I think Ashley, you said yours lasted you a year, didn't it? Was that you that said that? Yeah, I mean, I don't love to clean, so it's not like I'm using okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, it did, the first bottle we had lasted us a year. Um, it's crazy because it's just a cat full to, mm. You could do 16 to 24 ounces of water, which sounds like a big variety. But what I mean is you could do different bottles if you want to have an extra strong one than like an everyday cleaner. But for us, we literally just have one bottle of it. And so that mm -hmm. cleaner plus that glass spray bottle is a 40 US dollar value on top of the kit. I've never seen them do it. Uh, when they announced it, we all were like, oh, that's neat. We're going to give it to the person that enroll and they're like, oh no, for every new member. So it's a huge value. And we usually don't get to do that in South Africa either. So usually our markets where it's a little bit different of a shipping cost, we wouldn't get to have that promotion extended. So we asked and we're so excited. I was like, it's for, you know, it's, it's for your market too, which is awesome. Yeah. 
and it's, it's also going to save you a lot long term because you don't have to buy it separately and then pay for out shipping and all that. Yeah. I know. I'm so jealous. I, was, I kept on saying to people, I'm like, I'm so jealous that I like didn't wait an extra month to get my kid because I so want that. And now I'm like, um, mom, you need to get the kids so that you can get these so that I can use it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So yeah, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, with the thieves line and everything like the toothpaste and everything. Um, in fact, I'm getting a free toothpaste with my order this month. I'm very excited. I really want to try it out. Um, so then the next one is the Digize. And I found a mixed response from the smell of this, which is interesting because like I find it almost comforting and I don't know that some people may not like it with a sort of fennel smell in it, but this is amazing. Um, for anything digestion related. If you're going too much or too little, if um, you've eaten a meal that's too big, if you've eaten something that your body is usually not very happy with, um, so anything like that. Um, Hannah loves it. My seven-year-old loves it. <laughs> it's really weird. She goes, mom, I think I need diagize. Um, I'm like, why? She goes, my tummy's sore. I'm like, the tummy's never sore, this is it. but sure, go ahead. Why not? You know, it just helps with digestion anyway. So I'm not afraid of stress. Um, yeah, so it's really great. Um, helps with bloating or just anything um, digestion related. Um, I need to drop my kit. The next one is the um, purification. Dun, 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 dun. I love this. It's so good. Um, so the other day I put this in the diffuser and left the house, went to CrossFit, came back and I walked in and I went, oh, the house smells so good. It was, it's just so amazing. It's really refreshing. Um, it just gives that clean, fresh smell. And it like, it's another thing that I feel like it just, my airways feel um, smoother. Like it just feels like I can breathe easier almost. Um, but you can also make a spray out of this because um, it gets rid of just odors in general. So um, you can make a spray, you can spray it on the dog, you can sm spray it on shoes, you can spray it in the car, whatever, um, just a room spray, anything. It's just really good. Um, yeah, you can even, what I did as well the other day is um, I put, uh, I took a cotton round and I just put a drop or two of this on the cotton round and um, I cut it in half, put one half inside the trash bag and one inside the bin under the trash bag so that it would go all <laughs> into everything and just my bin wouldn't smell because we don't go through a lot of trash. So it sits there for a while before we have to take it out. Um, and so I feel like I'm like, I don't want to keep taking out these empty bags. And so this is helping a lot. It's really amazing. I love purification. Um, so the next one um, my husband is loving is Panaway. It's so good for sore muscles. Um, it's, it's really amazing because he's been studying. So he's been like bending over like this and been getting these pains in his shoulders. Plus we've been doing like a lot of like, pull up type things across with so they're both like really so so this is really helpful for that um it's it's just really amazing it, like i think it smells like wix bubble gum for those of you old enough to remember wix bubble gum <laughs> it smells so good i love it um so the other thing is that a friend of mine had surgery on her foot because she broke her foot and she said she was getting these like shooting pains in her feet because she had to try and walk without her um, crutches for the first time since her surgery. And in doing that, um, yeah, they told her you need to try walk around, you need to try drive. And she was getting these shooting pains when she was trying to sleep. So I gave her some Panaway. I mixed it with a straight onto wherever it hurt. And the day that I gave it to her, she sent me a message and she said, for the first time, I'm not on prescription medication and I'm not in pain. So this is amazing for pain in general, um, including muscle pain and non-muscular pain. Um, the next one is RC. So this is really cool as a chest rub. Um, you can put it in the diffuser as well. 
Um, I think it would probably make a good um, insect repellent too, because it's got um, citronella in it. So um, I know Ashley puts this on her chest before she um, goes for a run to help her breathe better. Um, so a lot of people, I'm actually, I'm going to make one for um, a girl that goes to CrossFit with me who struggles a lot with asthma and just see if it helps her as well. Um, because yeah, it is a it it is really good at opening up your chest. It's kind of like a Vicks vapor rub without the plastic and petrol. Um, so <laughs> you know, bonus. Um, so yeah, that one's really great as well. And then if you um, go to the bottom part of the um, of the kit that I was attempting to show earlier. Okay, mine's a bit of a mess because I've taken half the stuff out and used it. But there's an extra one in here that is called Deep Relief. This is another one that um, my husband has been uh, asking me for <laughs> regularly with pain in his muscles. Um, and Deep Relief is really cool. Um, so it's basically, it's kind of like deep heat, what we get here, deep heat, but again, without the junk. Um, so yeah, the Deep Relief is really cool. Uh, it's got, it's also got the wintergreen and it also has a little bit of the smell of um, the Wix bubblegum. <laughs> I, I don't know why I find that so comforting. <laughs> I just love it. Um, so it helps with feelings of energy and positivity to help stay motivated. Um, and it cools fatigued muscles and joint pain and is good for sports massage as well. Um, so that's a, a really great one. And with, um, in the kit as well, they put a roller ball inside the kit for this so that you don't even have to dilute it. You can literally just put this on and then it comes with a lid that, that goes with a roller ball. Um, so you can just roll it on yourself, like wherever you need it straight away. It's already um, got coconut oil in it, so you can just go directly on. Um, so it doesn't need diluting. Um, so there's other things that come in the kit as well, like the these little bottles so that you can um, give people samples of it. And then whatever you put um, in the samples, there's like there's these little packs that come with it. And then there's a little circle here that you can punch out and put the bottle in so that people can see what it is. Um, if you want to share it. Um, I don't know if I want to share mine yet. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, and then I know that they were giving out samples of the thieves cleaner, but they were having issues with that being shipped. So instead they started sending the thieves mints. They are so good. So good. Hannah asks me for these every single day. So yeah, I think, oh, and then obviously um, with that as well, um, they also send samples of the Ninja Red. I don't have a packet of that to show you. Ashley, I don't know if you've got one with you, um, but I drank mine. Becca had one in the car a few minutes ago, actually. She was drinking it. Oh. Um, I don't have one out here out in my office, but it's you, when you open up your kit, you'll want to stick them either in the fridge or not in the fridge. And just, I, I mean, I loved it the first time I tried it. I was like, oh, it's actually delicious. I thought it was just healthy. But it's <laughs> in our house, like my kids ask for it constantly, which I'm like, no, you can have one ounce for you. Yeah, <laughs> I've yeah, I've got the um the Ninja Red Nitro coming yes. in my next order. So I'm excited to try that because it's got the green Good tea extract in it. Good before your workouts. Um, but it's yeah, also in the afternoon, like I'm having iced coffee right now. I probably shouldn't be. I probably should have had a Nitro. I was just trying to be fun, you know. <laughs> it's, vitamins in the day, it's much healthier for you than anything that's an actual you know an actual actually caffeinated because it's going to be nourishing yeah so it's um it's from the um Ningxia region region of um china and what i found fascinating is that it's um am i right in saying this it's a complete protein that's all the amino yeah it's like a, that's crazy to me that a fruit has that um, but yeah, so it's really good for um, antioxidants and, and just basically boosting your energy through the day or giving you a feeling of more energy and more go. Um, I will give way more updates on that once I get my full supply of it. But two packs of that um, come in your, um, in your box when you first get your starter kit. So yeah.
of course, I had to share mine because Hannah's like, I want to try it all. <laughs> so I had to share mine. So I'm like, oh, but I want it. But okay, fine. You can share it. I'll get my own. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think I think that's everything that's in the box, right? I've used up so much of my stuff, so I don't know <laughs> if I'm but forgetting the, stuff. So the biggest advantage of even what what we're talking about with the starter kit is that you get to have a wholesale membership. So a wholesale membership is going to be your own account. You're going to get a 24% discount for life, which is amazing because you don't ever have to, just to be clear, you don't ever have to buy a certain amount a month. You don't ever have to um, share with others. You don't want to. And I like to say that it's a little bit different of a business model, but if you'd like to share with others, all you have to do is have this like, account. There's not another thing you do. You don't like announce to the world that you're selling oils. It's not like that at all. It's definitely because you want to, you want to recommend things to friends. You have the ability to as a wholesale member. That also means that you don't have to have your friends looking at what you're ordering. It can be your own health account. It's personal and private if you would like it to be, of course, and, and no one can know that unless you would be sharing it. Um, so the, the kit, there's three ways to really get started with it. I love to say your first monthly wellness box, because for me, if it's a lifestyle change, it's not going to be the only thing you ever buy from our lifestyle company, but it's the first step. It's really the big step and the leap to get into um, transforming your house. So there's a really a good, better, and best way to get started. A good way to get started is today, go click on over. Um, the person that invited you to this class or you're watching the replay with will give you their member number and you click on become a member you're going to select your country and then you go in and actually put their member number as your sponsor and enroller and you go through the process get your awesome dewdrop diffuser all of those oils plus the freebies plus the wholesale membership and i really wish one day i'm going to do money conversion better i'm working on that give me some grace there but it's 150 us dollars and then your tax shipping that all of that together actually through is it only through today through tomorrow 26 yep so the 20, it, the 26 is the discounted so three days three days three four days you get discounted instead of 25 us dollars all inclusive it's actually just going to be 15 which to give you an idea it's something i didn't really understand before but it actually costs you living about 60 us dollars to do the process of shipping plus paying all of the import, all that stuff. So they already subsidize it. So they're actually subsidizing it more um, because there are awesome meetings. Actually, yeah, about to be in Johannesburg. That's amazing. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Taman, you can maybe see if you want to go to the, I, I think yeah. I sent it to you. There's the one that's happening in Joburg on Saturday and Sunday, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a really neat opportunity to have um, the country manager there, lots of other people from our corporate staff, and then lots of members. Because when you're part of something that's millions of people, you really don't realize that until you get around them and feel that energy and just do it through Zoom, do it you know, in person. But experiencing it will be a really cool thing. So that is really the first way of snagging that kit. Um, the next way is, um, what I would say is a better way, and that's really simple right now because I always say it's adding on that thieves household cleaner and then adding on and, and trying things are red for a month. So you can add on a two pack of those bottles, have them to you pretty awesome because you can get it, try it. Um, it. It would be enough for you and someone else in your household for a month or you for two months when you get that two pack. Um, the best way to get started is to say yes to that monthly wellness program where you're going to be like, I'm going to do at least 50 us dollars a month of some product on top of, you know, just this first kit. So it could be any product. That's why I like, I love it because it's basically like a wish list I play with all month. So for us at this point, it's not really about new things. It's what do we need to replace? You know, do we need supplements? Do I need like shampoo and conditioner? Do I need a different oil maybe for emotional wellness? Do I need pet products? Do I need snacks? Do I need Ninja Red? So I can go through, and of course you can add as much as you want to, but the minimum is 50 PV and you can actually switch your dates. So if you're traveling one month and you want to push your date to the end of the month and then maybe you run out early and you're like, I really need some lemon and I need some Ninja Nitro, then you can shift that date and actually make it earlier the next month. So I love this program because for me, I love to spend money on things that pay me to do so. And our wellness program starts at 10% back a month and goes all the way up to 25% in free points to redeem for products. So like this month I have 580 ER points. So I am like redeeming, I don't even know how many, I think over 200, I actually did it yesterday for any of the ear gifts for some teachers. I redeemed a couple for some presents. I shouldn't even say that, they're gonna watch the replay. Um, for two family members' birthdays, I'm like, yes, of course they need mind wise. And of course they need um, 
Shutran, which is like a guy's hormonal oil and it's a little bit pricier. So it's fun to be able to do that. And then for yourself too, right? Maybe it's a month where you're spending a lot for Christmas or you're spending a lot for a birthday and you're like, I want to spend less on my ER, but I want to still get these products back and so you redeem them for free. So those are three ways to get started. Um, and I want to encourage you that with South Africa, there is a huge opportunity. And I don't want to just talk all businessy right now, but I want you to understand that sharing there is new and it's exciting. And it's something that in a year from now, the market will look different. There will be thousands and thousands of members and they will probably be some of your friends. So why not you? Why not you be the one to share and introduce them to something that is going to be life-changing and that does not mean in any way that you're obligating yourself when you buy this kit to do that at any level but it also means that you're free if you're like hey I got my kit in the mail today I'm gonna to share it with 10 people do it hey I got my kit in the mail today I don't know long term what I want to do but I know that my mom my neighbor and these two teachers I know like they could use this so I'm gonna share with them it's simply sharing something that you love with people just like you would a restaurant or a hairdresser you know i think about all those things that we already share so that's how it works um and we also want to make sure that it is very clear that you being part of our community is the biggest perk on top of that whole stuff membership because you will have thousands of other women already doing this thing all around the world where we can unite together ask questions get answers <laughs> and get resources. I mean, the class we're teaching right now is a script that you can use yourself. It is um, a community of women that we have closed private Facebook groups. There's a WhatsApp chat, lots of resources, and just so pumped to welcome you. So I cannot wait to see you in all of those groups with us and just learning and uh, doing it together. So let me... Uh,